All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Aura Expert. Now, we finally got Liz's Holy Relic, Red Hair Liz. Her relic just came out with the whole Hell Festival update. It was her and Roxy. I'm still working on Roxy's relic. I'll get that probably this week. But we are here, right? And hold on, hold on, hold on. Her relic is very interesting. And it's honestly probably one of the better PvE relics in the game, if not the most versatile relic in the game. Now, what a relic does is very simple. It increases your attack, not your attack related stats, just your flat attack by 50% for three turns. And it works for literally every single Liz in the game, red hair Liz being, right? So you have blue Liz. She gives crit defense for people in battle. And like, she can be used for like red demon and things of that nature. You don't have to, because she's not limited to like being only useful in deathmatch and stuff like that, but she's really good. So, like her, Red Demon, some farming teams, that's really good for any of the lizards. You just throw her in the sub slot and you have 50% attack. Your farming team will be infinitely faster than it used to be, even though it usually, roughly, is pretty fast. Now we move on to Green Liz. She's deathmatch or deathmatch orientated. She has her whole thing. If everyone's green, she gets the skill rank up for the beginning of the game. And, you know, deathmatch is a PvE activity, so they're also going to get this 50% attack related stats. Beautiful. So we're going to run through that, too. We're going to do a few deathmatches. Maybe one, maybe two. I don't know. And then last but not least, we have the red Denifor Liz, which is a time limit dungeon unit. Time limit dungeons are dungeons as of the anvils and the super awakened coins. Those are time limit dungeons. The ones where you have to use SA coins to open the dungeon, those are not time limit dungeons, even though they have a time. I know that's confusing. It's like, oh, that dungeon lasts 30 minutes. How is it not a time dungeon? No, those dungeons classify as a coin dungeon, but that's besides the point because her relic still works. So we might go into there too, but we're going to go down the list using each of these Liz's in like a weird activity here and there and see what they are, exactly her relic can do. Start off with Blue Liz. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off with Red Demon because Blue Liz, her passive is only PV. It's not only PvP, but her passive is relatively useless unless you have more than crit defense over 100%. And honestly, I don't even know if these characters have crit defense of 100% or not. So I'm going to throw crit defense food on, but it also doesn't really matter because we're not here to see her character. We're just here to see how much her relic is doing for this team. Now, this is probably this is pretty much my favorite red demon team so we're just gonna go in solo and we'll see exactly what we got going with a 50 percent attack because if you don't know aaron is already a menace for red demon because aaron is the most racist character in the game and he loves doing damage to red units but now that we have 50 percent attack his normal cards are hitting for close to a mil most of the time but you you'll see you'll see i'm just gonna go ahead and run it down for you because it's insane we don't go first because we're doing it solo. Fine, whatever. We ain't worried about none of this because Red Demon doesn't do damage. And if I were to get a AI teammate or something like that, 9 out of the 10, everyone else has a pretty solid team for this. And I wouldn't even get a chance to actually do some damage. So like, boom, we throw that. We're not even gonna waste any cards from Aaron yet. Or in terms of his main card, but his defense down. Oh, cool. Hi, volume. Volume jump scare, stop it. <laughs> um, That's awkward. That's very awkward. <laughs> but as you can see, easy damage. Let me go ahead and turn my notifications off. Okay. That volume jumps here was crazy. And y'all got to see all of my notifications. Don't worry about it. All right, listen. If you make mistakes, we make mistakes. So now let's go ahead and hop into it again. We still have the 50% up, which we can look at her attack. 41K on Aaron, 34 on Bond. Let's go ahead and actually throw these out because they should kill. And then you'll see what I mean by he doesn't, or Aaron wouldn't need his defense related card to do damage. It's actually insane. Because, you know, his attack card, if you debuff, he gets double crit damage and um, extra attack related stats on top of other shit. He gets a lot, okay? Aaron gets a lot. And for people to say he's not that good is insane. But Aaron does a lot towards Red Demons. Or red units as a whole. So now we're gonna show you exactly what I mean by that. Oh, I, I used an extra turn, didn't I? Oh no. That's unfortunately not good. <laughs> Aaron would have did so much more damage than this, but apparently 
Oh, right, because I didn't go first. I didn't get the full attack for the whole thing. Eh, whatever. Aaron doesn't need it. It's fine. But still, it works here. So let's go on to the next Liz. Now we're moving on to our casual Grey Demon. I want to use Liz and... I'm not Liz. Jesus fucking Christ. I want to use Merlin because I don't really use Merlin on Grey Demon that much. I use a bunch of random bullshit teams because I don't really care that much about two turning demons because it's just boring. I just throw units I know could do damage and go with it. But yeah, we're going to use Merlin because why not? We got green Liz. We already know what she does. We got a lane because she pretty much does what... The Helbrum does, but slightly better. Eh, it's the same thing, really. So, let's go ahead and hop into it, and let's see. We got uh, our boy Warp Best. Shout out to him using a support team. He does not have Liz's Holy Relic, but it's fine, because if you don't know, Liz's Relic does not proc for your teammates. It only procs for you. So, in a deathmatch scenario, you will have the 50% attack. Your teammates will not. Eh, but it's fine. Because the only DPS on this entire thing is Merlin. Now, my Merlin isn't built because I just kind of stopped using her at some point, but it should still give the same results. Let's go ahead and attack up with Elaine and then go in. Just to check and see how much attack she has, 25,000. So, yeah. I think she's ungeared. If she's not ungeared, I literally just stopped gearing her at some point, which is whatever. We don't really care. All right, help him. Yeah, it's fine. Seven hundred K. Easy. Now, usually people try to like rank up for go through level threes and shit like that, but obviously you don't need that anymore. Now, here's the fun part. I don't have the right cards for the next phase because I kind of use them all. And obviously my hand is kind of mid. All right, let's go ahead and just waste a lot of cards here. Elaine can do damage, but like, it's not gonna be crazy. But luckily for us, her relic lasts for three turns. So in theory, this shouldn't be horrible. It'll just take me a little longer than I wanted to because I used too many cards. And my teammates using a full support too. Yeah. Makes a lot of sense. Alright, back on our turn. Let's go ahead and this is the last turn for this. This is the same thing, right? 20%? Okay. Let's go ahead and just go in with Merlin. Her rank 1. Seventy one k 392 is not bad. Now we just kind of have to kill him off. Hmm. But that's the end of the laser relic. Maybe if I had a teammate that had another DPS, that would have been a little bit better. But, you know, it's fine. We, we live. This is perfectly fine. We still win in three turns. Four turns-ish, I guess. So it's not the most proper... Some showcase of the relic, but it's fine. We're gonna do Belmoth too. Nice. Alright, next up we have ourselves the casual Belmoth because, yeah, why not? Like, this isn't even hard, even without the relic. We already know. You can literally three turn this without the relic. But I guess for me personally, the difference is that usually I'm running Zaneri and whoever I'm playing with is running to go through because I just have a completely built Zaneri. As you can see, I have more CC than him with a fucking Zaneri. But literally, I have probably one of the most built Zaneris in the game. So I kind of just run her, even though she's completely useless. She does nothing except for one card, which is her heal. But, you know, you can always three turn this without the relic, but I might as well do it with the relic because I, I can probably do average damage close to the Gother side of the team. Because if you don't know, a green Gother gives you attack away the stats of your turn. My team doesn't do that. I can only rely on his base stats. But now I have a 50% attack boost on top of the Thonar passive. So, like, my damage is technically for these first two phases better than the other guy if he doesn't have the relic anymore. 
Like, it's to the point where you can use three cards to kill phase one instead of four. So, yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna just use these, get these out of the way. Huh. Does he have Liz's Holy Relic? I think he does. He's just not showing it. I don't know. 192. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know if he has it or not. Yeah, that was easy clappers. And now we're just gonna head into the last phase, because it, it's always been this easy. The Liz Relic really ain't doing a lot different, but you just see bigger numbers, which is cute, I guess. Like, it's nothing great, but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and take him out. Can my Zaratrust kill one card? I don't think so, but look at see. 380. He hits slightly harder than what he does without the Relic. I think without the Relic, my Zaratrust usually hits for like 360, 350. So my Zaratrust is slightly stronger. Because, again... 50% attack isn't that crazy, but it's crazy enough to make a difference, but it isn't insane Because we already three turned Belmont. This isn't anything new And here's my last deathmatch video. It's gonna be with um Liz in the back because her in the front is just stupid. Goddess units do less damage to him So we're gonna have her in the sub instead of like Elaine or Bond and we're gonna use our true or typical Rudy esteem I'm not gonna use any food, we're just gonna go into it. My teammate's using something out of fucking a nightmare, but it's fine. Because I have a 50% attack increase. So technically speaking, I should be okay. But I only have it for three turns, so hopefully this first turn isn't a whiff. If it's a whiff, then I'ma cry. <laughs> it's gonna be very, very unfortunate. Let's see what we got here. We have our attack. So we're gonna go ahead and buffle with Kazuna into the Eris, into the Rudius. I expect the Eris to be doing some decent damage. Like, not even decent, some godly damage actually. Because Eris is already a menace on this floor as it is. This should just make our lives that much easier. Mm, 160, okay. 135, come on. He should be able to kill. Is that Skinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we can one turn the original demon. I was going to actually show like the farming team, but you know, I think you get the idea. I'll just run into a gold stage real fast and then end it there because, yeah, it's not that crazy, you know? But it is insane. Don't get me wrong, this relic is busted as shit. But like, it's nothing to like go home about. This is me throwing, by the way. I want to see if the 50% is enough to one bang the original demon. Usually rank twos, if they crit, are pretty good. So we'll see if... Oh uh, yeah, I think we got it. Oh well, yeah, I kind of forgot about Eskinor. He'll help out a little bit, but like... I'm pretty sure we should crit and hit around like 800k, maybe. Maybe 600, that might be a little too genius. 1.4 million! Easier, even better. I was expecting a lot less, and that came out to be a lot better than I thought. So, cool. <laughs> just how I wanted it. All right, we got the free rank up. Let's go. On. Let's go ahead and just throw Aris at him, and then go for the damage cap with Marius because you can't kill him three cards. You have to kill him four, unless I just don't hit damage cap. That did not hit damage cap. The rank two definitely should. Barely. The damage cap is 492, I think. Yeah, 492 is the damage cap. So I could have killed him. But my Aeris wasn't doing enough damage to finish that off. But yeah. Putting her in the sub obviously works out pretty well too. An original demon. So if you have her for some reason, use it, I guess. Let's go ahead and hop into like a farm stage or something. So I decided to hop into a gold stage because gold is pretty prevalent in this game. And as you can see, I have 43 million. And that's still not a lot. I'm going to be honest. There's probably like two or three characters minimum. Oh, oh, oh. I lost my head, bro. Uh-oh. But, um, yeah, there's not a lot. So we're going to go ahead and run this team. Elaine, King, and Tyr. Because why the fuck not? We have Liz in the back for her 50%. And truly, again, the relic is has insane as this relic actually is, right? It's not needed 
for like a, a lot of the stuff that you would use a Liz for because those teams, those game modes already have strats to two to three turn it depending on how many phases there are. But like this specifically, eh, it's not the craziest thing ever, right? We already do this without Liz. But like now you just see bigger numbers. So if you like bigger numbers, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> like I like this relic, it's really good. If like for a PVE extended standpoint, it's really good. It's good. And yes, the relic does work on demonic beast battle. The only problem is that most of those have four phases, not three. So you can three turn the first three phases if you were doing like bird or some shit. But the last phase is all RNG depending on which one you're doing. So it just kind of gets a little weird at that point. Let's go ahead and just end him here. And then we just go set it to auto, see what the auto do, because why not? But literally, it's not hard, so if you have this relic available to you, I would recommend getting it, especially for like time limit dungeon, because Liz, sometimes I'd be talking to you. It's as OP as her relic sounds, or her passive is for time limit dungeon, it's really not that good. So her relic for time limit dungeon is actually pretty solid. And as you can see, big boy numbers, 1.3 mil, and that's already it. So yeah, that's gonna be the video for the day. You should like and subscribe. Um, get Liz's relic. If you can get the relic, get her relic. It's really good. You're not missing out, but you are missing out. It's an interesting dilemma with her relic, but it's still a very, very, very strong relic for PVE activities. So when you get a relic, go play around a little bit. Try on demonic beasts, you know instead of using your traditional meta teams and shit like that and just go have fun because this is what this game is it's a fun game it's not meant for competitive natures unless you're a pvp warrior then go for it buddy you do you heroic does not work in pve in this video or pvp in this video is completely useless to you so yeah have fun with that one but that's gonna be the video like subscribe comment down below if y'all want to see any crazy teams that y'all thought of that i don't have the units for you know i am the fuck sponge to all of your ideas so if you have an idea put in the comments i'll make a video for it because i have every unit in the game so yep i'll see you on the next one peace